Welcome back everybody to Osiris New Dawn Experimental Branch. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to build um, some components and keep working on getting our base, uh, our habitat upgraded and hopefully functional by the end of the episode. Uh, so I spent a lot of time off camera uh, mining and got a whole ton of resources uh, in the rover there. Um, when I came back I was pretty much out of fuel so the rover is now refueled and has uh, extra fuel in the inventory for the next trip uh, that we need to take out so that's cool um, I noticed that uh, and you guys have may what well, might mention this in the comments from today's video released on the 7th but I noticed that if you press F3 and open up the map uh, we actually have some really cool stuff here so you have basic scanning uh, which is the you know the same right and left click on the the handheld scanner but if you go to advanced scanning, then you can actually look for, for specific things, which is really cool. And so uh, you still have to have, you know, this um, open. And you can only, you can still only tell it to do low density, high density, medium density, that sort of thing. Um, but if you also go into F3 and then select like cobalt, for example, um, and, and then you still have to have this in your hand, then it'll just look for cobalt, which is really useful. I didn't even notice, know that it did that. Um, and that mem has, you know, possibly been implemented even before this last update, and I just didn't notice it. But uh, anyway, uh, very cool. Uh, I like that change for sure. Uh, one of the things I'm doing too is I'm, I've got a kind of a running spreadsheet that I'm keeping of all the mineral uh, locations here on uh, Proteus. So, you know, for future playthroughs, I pretty much know where to go. I, I started, you know, just kind of handwriting some of that down, but uh, I decided to put it all into a spreadsheet so that way, you know, it's it's easy to find. So anyway, okay, so I've got a bunch of stuff, uh, materials that I've uh, gathered up in my inventory, components, that sort of thing, and I think I have enough to build everything I want to build. So let's go to utilities, and we're going to start with the, uh, the printer here. And so... We're going to put that right in this slot, if it'll let me. Uh-oh. Uh, do we have to hold it out a little bit? Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to hold it out a little bit. So let's just put it right there. I don't like how your character moves around when you're trying to play something. That's not uh, It's a pain in the butt is what it is. Okay, cool. So we got the 3D printer done. And... Uh, this stuff is just pretty much going to stay here the whole time. We we need to do some upgrades too, by the way. I did find a pistol and some loot earlier, so uh, we need to do some upgrades so we can make ammunition for it. Uh, so we'll we'll look at doing that too at some point here. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I want to build a our first depository, and that I think you know all of these chests here. Once we get the 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 bubble, um, you know the electrodome put up. I'm going to redo all of this anyways based upon the perimeter of that. So for now, I think we're just going to put this... See, there was the possibility that we could do an airlock in this wall. And so I don't want to block that wall there if we can do that. So I think I'm going to put this kind of along this wall for now. And this, you know, this may not actually end up staying here permanently either. Uh, but now we got our first, you know, major storage. And I think there's 60 some odd slots in, in these. Uh, so yeah, lots of room, which is great. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a, a gas tank and a water tank. Uh, we need both of these as prereqs for the habitat anyway. Well, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, if we're repairing this, we probably don't. But yeah, that's okay. I, I want to make it anyway. We, we need it anyway. So... Uh, let's just go ahead and pop it right here. Again, this probably isn't the, the permanent location of these, plus I'm going to be making more of them anyways and when it's all said and done. But for now, uh, we'll just put our, our tanks here. And uh, let's just hold this one back uh, right there. Should be good enough. Now that we have the liquid tank... Oh my goodness, that storm's loud. Uh, we can take all of our uh, water jars and consolidate them. Okay. So what we're going to do is... Oh, I like these new models too, man. This looks good. This, this looks really good. So we need to go here and put all of the water on our inventory. And to load this up, 
Uh, F. Okay, and then is that the only other one we have? Yeah, okay. So now this one, we're going to press G to fill it so it's full. And, you know, we, we do so good on water now that we I probably only really need one water container with me. So I think that's all I'm going to do. And I'll leave the, we'll leave the rest of these um, empty for now uh, so that we can use them for, you know, hydrazine or whatever else we want to do later with them. Okay. So, yeah, let's put all of these back in here. Um, in fact, what I might even do, it seems to be like gas barrels and water jars in particular are the thing that takes up the most space. So, oh, we got a bunch more in here too. Okay, cool. So what I think I'm actually going to do is let's just store all the barrels and all the water jars in the depository for now. Again, this is all temporary, so it won't be this way forever. But we'll move these over to here for now. I mean, eventually we'll have indoor storage and we'll also have, um, you know, out, outdoor depository storage too. Let's get the, put these ingots back in here while I'm at it. Uh, so yeah, we've got a ton of ore. I'm just going to kind of put stuff in any old place for the moment. Whoop. All the tech stuff can go in here. And... Uh, let's put this in there for the moment, too. Okay, we'll do these uh, other waters. We'll get them consolidated. Uh, that one's already full. You have to get, like, right up to it now. Okay, so our tank is now at 64%. Um, the other thing, though, too, is, I mean, we're going to build the water reclaimer thing. And once that thing's done, I think it holds something like four, four tanks worth of water when it's completely full. So it's really cool. Um, so, yeah, we'll be getting that going once we get the habitat up and, and running. Okay, so let's put all these back in here. And you know what? I Again, I think I only need one water thing. Um, so let's wait a minute. There we go. Uh, so let's just add this one in here now for now too. We can always, you know, fill it back up later if we decide we need to for some reason. Okay. So yeah. Um, and we still have a ton of space left even after putting all this stuff in here, which is great. So let's put, um, you know, before we get started actually on doing the habitat upgrade, let's mm, see, this goes here. Let's see what we need to do to upgrade this so we can make ammo. So to do this upgrade, we need a talonite, a circuit board, a power cell, and a wire. All right, so wire. Uh, for a circuit board, we're going to need one of those and the wire. So let's make a circuit board there. Talonite we need to make in here, and that is cobalt and chromium. Uh, zinc, zinc, molybdenum, iron. Chromium and cobalt. Well, there we go. Uh, we also need a power cell, which is lithium and silver. So lithium is here and silver is here. Should probably check that before I put everything away, huh? So we'll make a power cell too. And then we'll upgrade this guy so that we can start making ammo and start carrying our pistol around. 
Uh, speaking of which, we should probably look at points as well. So let's see, we've got four points. So one in strength, one in stamina, uh, one in health, and another one in strength. Okay, so for points, um, since we're going to start using weapons now, increased projectile damage, we're going to take that. And then we just need to basically go, wait, what's this? Weapon damage or weapon durability. Uh, what's this? Gun durability. Okay, so we just have these two durabilities, weapon and gun durability, left. And then we'll be completely done with combat. Uh, for engineering, what are we doing here? Increased loot amount. So all three of those are increased loot amount. This is craft at higher health. And these are salvage, faster salvage bonus. Okay, let's go craft at higher health. And salvage bonus. Oh, we can't take any of those. Can we take one of these? Nope. Okay, so we'll put more points into those later. And then for science, um, let's just keep working down this tree and up here. And we're almost completely done with science. Okay. You know, the concept of, of the, the skill tree and all that is great. I really do like it. I like the changes that they made to it, but it needs more work. Uh, it needs to be better balanced. Stuff needs to be arranged in such a way that it makes sense for where you are in the game. In other words, don't make spacewalking something you have to take very early in the game. And I think they should add, you know, more stuff to it, um, too. Um, because it's, you know, it, I'm, I'm in... You could maybe argue that I'm barely into mid-game here, and I've almost already learned everything in the tr in all three trees. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, uh, hopefully they'll con continue to work on that and make it better. But the idea of it, I love it. Okay, so what are we doing? We're waiting for a couple of things here, right? So we got a circuit board, and we were waiting for some talonite in here. Or I know, I guess we got the talonite. Okay, so now we should be able to do the upgrade here. Okay, and then we'll get our wrench out and get her upgraded awesome okay so upgraded forge man look at that it's a beautiful thing let's take a look inside and that's all the upgrades we need to do for the forge now we need to make blaster cells we can't do the assault rifle until we find zircaloy now i don't think Zir zirconia is on Proteus. It wasn't in the, the stable version. You had to go to Latari to get it. So I'm assuming that's the same because I've been pretty much been all over Proteus in this uh, recent upgrade and I have not come across um, Zirconia. So um, so we can't make that unless we happen to luck out and find one. So blaster cells require dimalloy and power cells. Okay, do I have dimalloy? No, I don't. I have duraluminum, but I do not have dimalloy. Okay, so to make that, we need silver and copper. All right, so let's see. I should have... What's this? Okay, that's a full stack of silver. And we should have a pretty decent amount of copper somewhere right here. Okay, so let's grab that copper. All right, so we're going to make... Um, let's make five power cells. And we'll make five dime alloys, and we'll just see how much ammo that actually gets us, and then go from there. All right, guys, so uh, next order of business here is to, here, let's do a save point, since I haven't done that in a bit, is to continue working on the habitat. All right, so what do we need for normal walls? We're going to need aluminum wire and zamok. Okay, so... We have seven Zamok here, and I should have a pretty decent supply of aluminum because I've just been gathering it like crazy. But we're going to have to make... Uh, and we have eight wires there. Okay, we're going to have to make more um, Zamok, but let's just go ahead and build as much as we can with what we have here, which is only going to be three walls. Okay. 
Okay. So we need... Uh, we're going to need to put a coupler here. Um, so we're going to need all that stuff for the coupler. Um, and so we need to do four more normal walls, or probably five more normal walls. All right, so that means we need... How much more Zamok do we need? We need nine more Zamok. And we're going to need a few more wires, too. Okay, let's check in here. All right, now we want to make... We'll make a total of five magazines, so we'll have a total of 15, because you get three per thingamadoodle. All right, that should be good. Um, let's put our gun on in slot two. I don't even know if we need to use the crude metal sword much anymore because mostly I just use that to get leather. I know you can get other types of materials with it, but I think I'm going to just put that away for now. And, you know, I can always come back and get it later if I need it. Of course, it'll be inconvenient to do that, but that's just the way it goes. Okay, so we said nine more Zamok, right? So I think we make that stuff in here. Uh, we need zinc and magnesium. There's magnesium. I have a full stack of that. Molybdenum and zinc. Okay. So let's knock out nine more of these. Are you still... Yeah, I was going to say, are you still making that? All right, look at this, man. Oh, cool. They changed the... That's right. They changed the models of the, of the weapons. I like it. I like it. One thing it doesn't show, though, now, like it did before, is it doesn't show how much ammo's left in it. Oh, I gotta take the the bloom business off. Hmm. I don't know if I like that change, because it was kind of nice to know how many rounds you had left in your weapon. Is it, hmm, is it supposed to be showing it somewhere and it's just not, I'm not holding it right? It almost looks like there's some kind of a readout behind that thing that says battery, but I can't read it. Okay, well, here, let's, um, just trying to see if it says anything anywhere about how many shots are left. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So we still have six shots per magazine. Yeah, I don't, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I don't know why we don't have the, the readout anymore. I'm not not too fond of that change unless it's supposed to be there and it's just not working correctly or something the other thing that I have to say is considering that we have maxed out gun damage skill that seemed pretty lame for damage it wasn't doing very much damage on those parasites parasites like one of the weakest crit, crit you know critters in the game man we should be able we should be one-shotting those hmm all right let's go try it out on the the snub thingy, thingamadoodles here. Alright, we killed him in three shots. I mean, it does have the little visual indicator on the toolbar itself. One, two, okay, we killed him in two shots. I guess that's not too bad. Oh, we one shot at him. I don't know, maybe the parasites are stronger than I'm giving them credit for. Let's go test it out on a crab. Now the crabs used to have, you know, different levels, but I think they've removed that.
So it took a full magazine to take down the crab. But, oh, shit. No, I guess that was five shots. Darn it. I wasted a shot. No, I mean, I'm okay with that. The crab's the largest creature on the moon, so it should take five shots to bring him down. Where are the... Where did those, um... Here they are. All right, how many shots does it take to kill you? One, two, one, two, three. Okay, that one crit. The first one crit, so... All right, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of feel like... Honestly, because we have maxed out points in, in, in gun damage, that it should be a little more than that. That's kind of how, how I'm thinking at this point. But, you know, the other, I guess the other consideration is the pistol is, you know, the, the weakest gun in the game. And it was kind of a little OP in the stable release, so that's probably what, what it is. Once we get into better guns, you know, it should it should be better. Well, let's hope so anyways. But we're not going to be able to, to make a better gun until we get Zirconia. Or, or, you know, unless we luck out and find one. Let's harvest this guy. Alright, let's go ahead and grab our Zamok out of here. Uh, we need to make four more wires too so we need broken wires for that don't think we have any more broken wires so to make normal wire we need uh, copper gold and rubber okay there's rubber and I think we needed gold right that's sulfur Okay, so while that's making up, let's go ahead and continue working on our walls here. And then we'll then we'll worry about the coupler afterwards. Okay, so if we block that off now, how do we get we're gonna have to go around to get out here. Um, all right, here's what I'm going to do. Let's disassemble this. Okay. And we'll put the wall in here. So what I want to do is I want to make a coupler here and see if we can attach an airlock to it. Because, again, I don't know if we can or, or if we can't. If we can... Uh, we need to make a coupler for that too. So, okay, so what do we need for couplers? We need to make two couplers. Uh, we need gunmetal and more wire. Whoops. So let's grab that wire. Uh, for gunmetal, do we make that in here? No, I think we make that in the forge. So we need bronze and tin I think I have bronze in here oh maybe I don't okay so we need bronze to make bronze we need more tin I have tin in one of these guys titanium tin tin and titanium look exactly the same okay so let's make a bronze Okay, here we go. Now, the question is, can we attach an airlock to a coupler? So let's go to structures, airlock. Oh, we need to get gather the stuff. Okay, so computer screen, steel, two more Zamox, plastic, and Electrum. All right, let me gather all that stuff up, um, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, we have everything for the airlock. Moment of truth here. Structures, airlock. Oh, we can do it. <laughs> All right, awesome. Okay, confirm build. Excellent. Okay, that is very good news because then, you know, that means, of course, that we can set up an airlock anywhere we want to. I, I thought you had to do it always on, you know, the built-in coupler uh, for the habitat, but that is not the case. 
Beautiful. Okay, so um, we need to do... Uh, I guess we have to, to build these walls first. So we need Zamok and Duralumen. Uh, but before I do that, I want to... I want to put this uh, coupler in place too. So let's see, coupler. Oh, we need two more Zamok uh, for that one. Okay, let's do that. See, we only took him down half health with a full magazine. That other one must have crit. Either that or this crab is tougher. Here, let's just whack him for the... Okay, I'm not... Well, we should harvest him. Okay. Okay, so we're out of plastic for these last three. Okay, let's let's put that on hold because I'm going to have to make plastic, but I, I do want to make this upgrade before we wrap up this episode. So we need Talonite circuit board. Oh, no, no, no. This is the one that needs the battery, right? Yeah, I remember we ran into that before. My guess is that we can't make a battery until we have the fabricator. Because this is not the same thing as a power cell. We can make power cells in here. Even though the icon's the same, it's not the same thing. Let's just confirm that. I mean, we, we, we're we going to need power cells for other things anyways. And we might as well make another Talonite. But let's put this in our inventory and see if it counts. I don't think it's going to. Whoops. Uh, no. Cancel upgrade. Yeah, see, it's still, it's not the uh, fuel cell or power cell is not counting as a battery because it still says I don't have it. So, okay, we're not going to be able to do that. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap things up here. Uh, so I'm going to keep working on getting the airlock repaired. And I'm probably just going to put a normal, uh, well, I can't go through there yet. I'm going to put a normal roof on, hmm. Well, I don't know. I was thinking about... Oh, you know what? No, never mind. We don't have to double this up because we can now use that hallway. Um, so I'll probably put a glass dome roof on here and then, you know, work on getting the fabricator in place and, uh, yeah, just keep advancing like that. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're, all, if you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.